Hey guys, as of this AM, here's my promise to you. You're going to be able to take any website on the internet, basically any website on the internet, or you're going to use our CMS, right? Our theme to HTML management system where you can log in there and make a website from scratch. And you're going to be able to create thousands of web pages with any URL structures you want, whether they're in root folders, in, in folders of folders, subfolders, sub subfolders with pages, or in the subdomains. All right, create any subdomain variation you want. And all the pages will have relative URLs for those who know what that's all about. But the pages are going to be for any topic you want. And you're going to be able to index basically all of those pages, the majority of them, like 90% of them, overnight. And not just that, you're going to be able to set up signals to get Google to start to see your backlinks right away and actually care about them. Not only that, but I have had some guys pop up, one in particular, who says he sees his root folders, uh, uh, like a page from his root folder on the front page of Google for a keyword he needs, and a subdomain-based page, too. And that gets back to this whole discussion about whether subdomains act like separate websites to Google. They can, so it's interesting. If the treatment's right, then they can. Here, let me walk you through this so you understand what's going on. I'm going to try to avoid technical uh, descriptions. I can save that for a second video for those who want to know what that looks like. So in the second video, I kind of walk through what this kind of means, okay? And we'll just go through and make sure you understand. We don't have to memorize this stuff. We just have to understand the formats. It's really easy. You might like it. Uh, in the meantime, let me just point this out. Here's how it normally goes. You create a website. You launch it. Maybe you tell Google it's there, okay? So after a couple of days, you're kind of lucky if you get four results. Usually Google finds your front page, and it takes them three, four, five days to find any other page. <laughs> so anyway, you wait a few days, and it tends to pick up speed, and then you tend to get more pages, right? And about the time that you're getting those pages, it might be main pages and some of your subdomain pages. So this might be like a weekend. You're up somewhere around 100 pages or so. You know, you get another weekend or so, and you start crossing that line. You get from maybe 100 to 109, 110, that kind of thing. Or just like day by day, Google's finding some more pages, right? About the time you get up to the next week, maybe start crossing into 200 pages or so, right? And then you get another weekend or so, and you start to cross into like 310. Now, you're talking like three weeks in, you got maybe 300 pages indexed, and maybe you had... Uh, 2,000 pages to start with, or 1,500, or even 2,500, or who knows how many you had on your website, right? So you're just kind of waiting for Google all the time. Well, one now that we've pulled a backlinking crew together for the first time in a while, and, and spun them off so that they could get going, guys are popping up with solutions from their own background. And so we're getting some cross-pollination of power there. So we build a news alert system. For those of you who know what's going on, we build a news alert system inside of Get Trial Leads for the different categories there, and the backlinkers can join up. And that's where we're going to put out notes, helpful tips, tricks, and everything else. This is going to happen fast. So here's my point, though. Let me come back to everyone else now. Okay, We've had guys take off and just rather suddenly, and I mean like overnight, shift from 100 pages or even 50, shift to 2,580 just like that. Okay, Now... Word to the wise, okay? Again, this is for everyone, though. Um, when you throw up large websites, sometimes Google will indexes, and then you check back again thinking it will be higher, but no, it went lower. And you're like, what the heck? And you don't think Google liked it, and you check back again another day, next day maybe, and all of a sudden, it, most of it's back. And you're like, what? <laughs> then you check back the next day, and it's down again. And it might be down a couple of days or so, and that's back up. Maybe, and then it surprises you. It gets even higher. For those who don't know what that is, it's often called the Google Dance. <laughs> and it means that Google does passes through your pages because they, they're busy doing lots and lots and lots of things. So they go through your pages, get a first clue, throw something up. Then they run off doing a bunch of other things. Then they come back around. Okay, gave you a chance to destroy your site because you don't like it. Ah, it's still there. Okay, they do a second pass, right? This time they dig a little deeper, right? Deeper threads all the way through, all right? Now, they're going to get more pages indexed. They're going to run off and do other things, okay? And then they're going to come back around. Hey, you still haven't demolished your site or totally changed it for another industry, okay? Then they'll do a third pass, and that kind of thing happens. Now, every time they do passes, 
Sometimes they have to drop the count because they still got to count the incoming connections to every single page from every other page of your website. And they can't really guess so much as iron it out. And then when they throw it back up, it's after they've hashed through all that and they got the math done, they flung up the result. Now, this is why things can drop and pick up and drop and pick up. It's actually lots of checks that Google does. It's like, you know, three, basically 300 different algorithmic checks per page. And the more pages you give it at once, well, it's not just checking 300 checks on a page, but it's checking how all of that relates to the next page and all of that relates to the next. So think of it this way. One page times 300 checks, or it's two raised to the 300, or it's three raised to the 300, or it's 2,500 raised to the 300. And so then you might think, how in the world can you get the pages to index faster? There are other ways to help Google understand that you're sticking around, that you're serious, and that you want to do certain things certain ways. A lot of Google coming and going is because their servers heat up so much just processing the mass load of information that flows through it every second from everyone's actions. So they like to see who drifts and who stays before processing further, right? It's a simple way to understand that. That's why there's always this chat about Google wants you to, you know, time. You have to wait to rank for better keywords. If you could rank for the perfect keywords every single day just by earning them, everyone's results would go like that every single day. And, and then nobody would stay on Google. You couldn't, you couldn't be a company like Sears or Target or Costco or, and, and have your pages on Google because they go foomp one day, then kind of foomp the next, and then sort of slivered by others, and then foomp, and they're gone, and someone else is there. If it really was that quick, then nobody would stick around with Google. Everybody would get frustrated and leave, go to Bing, go to Yahoo. All right, so, so it's a tide, right? Everything drifts with the tide. But anyway, you can shove things up and let Google understand what's going on. So let's go a little further with that. I said, wow, this guy got a bunch of pages up. I wonder, are any of these pages actually live in a search? So I went kind of deeper into his search results, grabbed some of the pages that I saw there. And by the way, if you come and do that search on the guy's site now and it's a few pages, I'm not surprised. You come back later, they'll be back. We did it with mainroofer.com, right? And, and many others. Mainroofer still got like 38,000 pages on it and they don't even belong up. <laughs> But Google likes it. I've actually had my phone ring in the background when some of the phone numbers happen to be mine. Uh, and sure enough, people are asking for roofing. It's like, geez, man, that, that site's full of fake information. It's not real. So I, I had to go back and redo that project sometime. Just don't have time now. Having said that, I looked for concepts for what should be uh, the keywords for these things. I just said, are the pages there, right? So, like, let's take a look. Okay, doing a search for the website brought me Milwaukee car key and fob replacement service. You can see it. Mobile lock and key dispatch.com car key and car key fob replacement service, right? Well, that's exactly this. That's exactly this page. So, yeah, a deeper level page, something that just indexed overnight is showing up in search results. Like, oh, I'll be home. Okay, let me give you another one too, because I, I went and looked. Chicago lock installations and upgrades. Blah, 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 right? 0881. And it's right here. Chicago lock installations and upgrades, 0881. Chicago automotive locksmith, blah, 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 blah. By the way, anyone wondering about the stars? Google gives them to you when they think you deserve them. You know, and that, again, comes after time, right? Google doesn't just give it to you on a brand new site. You've got to earn it with time. Having said that, let me, I, I did another one. Dallas Smart Lock Installation Services, 0881, and that's exactly from here. Okay, so these are just three results out of 10 on this page, just simply seeing if they're there. And you know what? This is pretty cool because if you think about it, check this out. This is like number 16, okay? Um, I, I expanded the page, right? I had to give me 100 results per search so I could search faster. So this is like number 16 on the page. You know, if you count, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34, 16 or so. But take a look. For Dallas Smart Lock Installation, if I was in Dallas, I wouldn't need to type that. Since I am not in Dallas, Google will show smart installa uh, lock installation companies near me physically if I don't type Dallas, right? So that's why I have to type it here. But there, they wouldn't necessarily. Smart Lock Installation, number 16 down, out of what? 20,800,000 results. 
How long did it take him to climb that high to the 16th position out of 20 million? A day. A day. Literally. Overnight. And was it hard? No. It was a submission method. Okay? Very easy once you understand it.